channel we haven't i've been gone in toke for i don't know a month and a half or two months yeah a while <laughs> yeah anyways i've been bouncing back and forth as much as i can but i've been neglecting the chickens vaughn's been here taking care of work mm -hmm. and taking care of the chickens and everything else with the dogs and all the household stuff here so so i've kind of been neglecting the chickens and i've got a few things here to do so if you you like this video give us a thumbs up leave us a comment and if you're not subscribed, consider subscribing. Let's get on with the video. Ready? done a chicken update for a while and they have been growing quite a bit over the last month uh, they're about ready to get ready to lay eggs so we just switched them over to uh, layer feed yeah layer feed a 16% layer feed we're hoping that they're gonna start producing pretty soon and Ryan's gonna open up the boxes build a little thing for them to climb into the roost and he's gonna fix our plane going over he's gonna <laughs> fix their little, what is it called, the roost? Yeah, the roosting poles. Yeah, the roosting poles. They're, just, they're too that. big, I need to get, I need to make more space for them. But we have definitely determined, oh, hold on for the plane. <laughs> Two planes. That's fun. Uh, we have definitely determined that we have, in fact, a rooster. You guys all told us it was a rooster. Definitely a rooster. He's starting to make some noise every morning and pretty much throughout the day. He's pretty noisy now. So let's go in and, and, and meet everybody. <laughs> and there he goes. Cheeky kikis. Okay, so 
we have, we renamed him to Mr. Rooster. Our granddaughter renamed to Mr. Rooster. We have pretty girl over there. She's the whitest chicken. She's got like white feathers, the most white feathers. So my granddaughter named her pretty girl. Then we have greedy Gertrude here. She's the one always first to get something to eat. And Mr. Rooster. Then we have, let's see, where's Sweetie Pie? Ow, there's Sweetie Pie. She's the sweetest little one. We got right here, this is Sweetie Pie. And Greedy Gertrude's very sweet. She'll let you pet her. She's very soft. Come here, Gertrude. Um, you guys aren't nice as Gertrude is. Here you go, kids. Come here, baby chickens. As you can see, they've been growing like crazy. So, you can see behind me, we added some new roosting poles. We just had this little one over here. See if we can get it. We just had this little one. They were crowding up here. 11 chickens on this pole was quite a sight. Um, we also changed out the swing, the different... Um, we put a birch log yeah, there. Yeah, we put a log so that they can wrap their feet around it easier. And then we added this so they can get up here. They're loving that. Um, lots of space, lots of place to play. Um, it's substantially higher, so they want to get up higher. higher. Yeah. Earlier today, they um, pulled out one of the nipples on the automatic feeder. So Ryan was repairing that. They were up on the back on this. If you guys haven't seen that video for me building this automatic water, I'll put the link. I'll put the link up above. But these nipples right there. Uh, so far, I've had two of them. The chickens have broke, and it seems like they break pretty regularly. So I always keep a few on hand. It's super easy to change them out, but I might consider looking at the uh, water cups or something. If you have any advice on a little better water system than the nipples, leave it in the comments. Let us know. So anyways, what I was saying is earlier today, Ryan was out here and he was bending over right here, fixing this. And one of the chickens got up behind him and then jumped on his back and was riding him like a horse. And when he stood up, it climbed up his back, kind of scratching him up pretty good. But that silly chicken jumped on him twice. It was pretty funny. <laughs> it was. Pretty silly. A little, little turkey <laughs> or hey, chicken. Not turkey, that's a chicken. <laughs> These are our chickens. We love them so much and they're so good. Mr. Rooster, let's see him. Oh yeah, see? He's a big boy. Oh yeah, show off your Putting on a show feathers. there. You're handsome, all right. I figured since we're doing an update, I'd give you a little shot of the yard that we put in earlier in the spring. Look at that. Still got some thickening up to do, but dang, that's looking good. All right, ladies, move it on, move it on. Move it out. So I'm going to tear the roost out here and we're going to, I'm going to try to make um, against this wall here. You can see that. I'm going to do a ladder instead of just what I have there because it's just not enough space. The birds have gotten to the size where that is just not enough space. And then here on the nesting boxes, right down at the bottom, I want to put um, just somewhere they can stand to get into the box so they can jump up and stand right here. And then get in. It'll be a little two by two right there across the whole span. Okay, get out, ladies. I'm gonna be working in here. So I'm thinking about doing this, something like this, and this making you know one, two, and three. The other option is to stick a. I could do roosting in this corner and put a couple of diagonals like I had on this corner in this corner and call it good. See if they like that. I think we're going to try for this idea here first. I'm going to try to put one right here in this corner. Down here like this. Something.
I gotta go cut one more of these and then some cross members and then we'll try to build the ladder in here. All right, well, I'm gonna go drill all these holes, make sure they're straight across from each other and everything's good. And then I'll come back and we'll screw the boards all together and mount it up. No tools here. But what made this so difficult is I don't have a tape measure. You don't have a tape measure? No. <laughs> Everything's over tape. These chickens are gonna love this. All right, so that's it. I'm probably gonna put a third one down here, but right down here somewhere. But I don't have the lumber for it. So I put one over in the corner here. I put that one in the corner. And now next on the agenda is nesting boxes. I'm going to pull the cover off. I'm going to put a railing down there, like I said, and give them something to stand on while they're entering the box. So that's next on the list. Maybe we can get these freeloader chickens to start producing some eggs. We're right at 18 weeks, which is right about the time we should be seeing eggs anytime. But They've just been costing us money, so it's time for them to start feeding me. So there's, I just put a little uh, pole there so they can jump up sit on there and be able to get into the nesting boxes We'll see if it's a mistake. It just looked like something needed to be done there So I don't know like I said a long time ago. We're new to this chicken thing I'm gonna start <clears throat> getting the nesting boxes set up with uh, some nesting material and Leave them open. Hopefully they'll start laying some eggs. All right There we go Nesting boxes have nesting and medi material inside. I think they're all set up pretty good. All right, chicken doors open. We put the roost there. We built this roost here. And yeah, it's great. We've been doing, I don't know if you can see how much bedding. Tons of bedding material in there though. Loads and loads of bedding material. It's hard to see on the camera. But this coop has not smelled once. Uh, I mean, it's just awesome. It's dry as a bone in here and the chickens are loving it. So, so far it's been a good coop. And uh, we'll see how it all pans out this winter. I don't know, did you guys, I don't know if I gave you an update on this, but uh, so we painted the barrel black. That barrel, is for our automatic water, which I put a link to the video. I'll put an I card up top somewhere for the video, but uh, making that. But I turned, I painted that black. I don't remember if I told you guys that, and that helps with any algae growth or anything inside the barrel. And then, due to uh, several comments that made sense to me and I appreciate, I switched these doors or this door here for recovering the eggs. I've switched this. Let's open these up and the door now swings down. Of course, that was a recommendation through several viewers. We had it flipping up and now we set it down. We've got a nice shelf for the egg, uh, egg basket and all that. So there we go. I think we're done. See what the chickens do with it. Hopefully these chickens start carrying their weight a little bit and getting us some eggs. All right, let's Who's go look ready at it. Just check it out. Let's go see it. There's it at. Wait for Papa to see our first egg. Oh Let boy. Well, it's kind of funny looking. Yeah, it is. 
All right, what are we gonna do with it? Um, right now we're gonna put it in the nesting box. Yeah, put it wherever you want, in the middle of one of those nesting boxes. There we go. All right. And can't we put some of these on it to keep it warm? No, they don't care. We're just gonna leave it in the nesting box and that way, hopefully the hens will start realizing that there's eggs in there and they'll lay in the boxes. Awesome, our first egg. And you were just complaining today. About this them being freeloaders. About them being freeloaders and they must have heard ya. <laughs> All right. So I was editing this video and I totally forgot to close out the vlog. So it's a day later, but I wanted to show you guys a little something I didn't show you on the video. <clears throat> you can see, I put a little barrier there and that was a recommendation of some of our viewers also and it helps so much keeping the bedding in where it belongs. Oh, it looks like I got a couple chickens producing some eggs for me. They're enjoying the coop. That's all I've got for you on today's vlog. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Leave us a comment. Tell us what you think about the chickens and the chicken coop. If you're not a subscriber, consider subscribing. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and we'll see you on the next one.